Conversion AI Demo. Hiya, Adam Payne here with a Video Marketing Insider, and in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you a demo and walkthrough of my new favorite software, which is called Conversion.ai. Now, there's nothing to download nor install with this software, and it saves you the most important resource, which is time. Now, in short, what it is, is it's a kind of artificial intelligence that through prompts that you add, creates all kinds of content for your marketing. This could be blog posts, paid ads, video related stuff, pretty much everything that you could think of. And as a software, it's growing all the time. Since I first joined to now, they've added a bunch of stuff. They're very supportive. They're very communicative. They've got a great community. So let me go and log inside of the members area and give you a quick demonstration of what it does. So when you log in, you see a page a little bit like this. They've named their artificial intelligence Jarvis. That's what Jarvis means here. If we come down, you can see on this particular day, I generated 6,210 words, 5,000 words that day. So when I log in, I do generally use it to create a bunch of content. So let's click on the templates and see all the different things you can do. Now, I do not use all of these when I use this software. I use certain ones but you can use them for email, um, websites and blogs, ads, e-com, social media, videos, Google, a whole bunch of things. So for example, let's imagine you wanted to do email. You could click on email and you could use one of these templates. You could get it to create bullet points, uh, create email subject lines, or you can take a piece of content that already exists and basically reword it using their content improver. And I use that function quite a lot. So let's do an email subject line. Let's click on this. And I'm going to just ha give you this example. So I'm going to pretend that Red Bull is the company. The tone of voice that I'm going to use, I can put anything I want in here, but I could let's change this to fun. And our email is about a new energy drink that is super healthy and helps you stay awake, something like that. And down here, you can see the number four when it comes to outputs. This refers to how many variations that we would like conversion.ai to create for us. So we'll leave this at four for now. You can increase or decrease it. We'll hit this blue button and it will give us some email subject lines that we can use. Look, uh, hey, do you want to feel like a superhero? This is really cool because when somebody gets this in their email, it's going to stand out a little bit. It's not gonna be like the same old, buy this, get my bonus, open this email. It's gonna be different. And the whole purpose of a subject line for an email is to get the email to be opened. From there, you've got to have the email itself to do the job. So you could pick a couple of these and you could split test them and see which one works best. But again, didn't have to think of this. I just put some information in there and conversion.ai gave me some email subject lines. Let's just click on this and let's choose something else. Let's come down to content improver. And I'll delete one that I've got in here already. Now for this, I'm actually gonna open up a new tab. So I'm gonna open up a new Google tab and I'm just gonna type in energy drink for, um, for workout, something like that. And then what we can do here is we can scroll down and we can get all these other questions that people ask. So we can open and close these to get a few more of these. And then what we can do is we can just open up one of them and we can copy all of this. So we copy all of this and then we can come back over to our template. We can put it in. We've got 600 characters as the max. Um, we can leave this as is. And in fact, we can even remove this and then we can hit generate AI content. I've got five outputs here. So what conversion.ai is going to do, it's going to take that particular piece of content and give us five variations. So this is really cool. So imagine we were having a, we were creating a blog post about energy drinks. Rather than um, try and think of the whole thing from scratch, what I could do is I could use this as a subheader within my article and then I can use this as my actual content because we can't just copy and paste somebody else's content. That's not cool, but we can use that as a starting point, 
put it into conversion.ai and then you know use this and we've got i don't know how many words this is but we can click on this and we can copy it and just you know add it to our post we could rewrite a few things if we wanted to but again this is done super super easily and you can imagine if we did that once we can go through all of these questions and we could have you know a thousand two thousand words written very very shortly so let's come back over here to the different kind of templates and i'll show you a few more so let's go to facebook ad headline so a company's name. So I'm going to use my company Vidnetics. Product description. Let me pause the um, video and go and copy the description on our website. So I'll be back in one sec. Okay, so I've got this description here from our actual About Us sales page. And I'll just hit generate content and see if it can give us some ideas for potential Facebook ads. Stop wasting money on generating views. Simplify your YouTube ad campaign management. Try Vidnetics for free, free for 14 days. So let's change this from professional and let's put fun. And let's see if that changes things a little bit. And we will go with three outputs as well. Vidnetics loves to see you succeed. Create your YouTube ads campaign in seconds with Vidnetics. Want to get started? So again, we've got different things. And you, know, you don't know if these headlines are going to be good or bad until you've actually tested them. But this is a great starting block. And that's just the headline. We could even come down here for the primary text. So I'm going to um, put the thing back in there. I'm going to put the company back in, Vidnetics. Tone of voice, we'll leave that as excited and we'll hit generate content. So now we've got some headlines that we can potentially use for our Facebook ad. We'll see what we can use for actual the body of our Facebook ad. And again, we can go through here uh, and we can choose one of these, maybe edit a few things if we want to, add or remove stuff. But again, it saves us a whole bunch of time. Let's come back over here to templates and let's look at the long form assistant. Now, this is really, really cool, but this is only for pro users. There are two pricing options when you consider joining conversion.ai. The pro one is one that has this. This is an absolutely fantastic um, option. So let's pretend we want to create a blog post. So I want to make a blog post about growing organic strawberries okay keywords we won't worry about it we're not going to pretend that we're doing this for seo we'll hit continue uh, what could be the title of this blog post don't know so we'll hit generate ideas and we'll choose from one of the titles that conversion.ai gives us um, how to grow delicious organic strawberry plants yeah that'll do so we'll use this one intro paragraph again no idea so we'll hit generate ideas and we'll basically choose from one of the options that the software provides us. And if you worry about um, plagiarism or Copyscape, um, you know, plagiarism, you can use a third party tool called Copyscape and you can run it through there. I do that myself for most of the content if it's going to go on a website or a niche site. I don't bother so much for, you know, ads or that kind of or emails. But 99% of the time it passes anyway. Occasionally, if you're using very, very technical stuff, then you may find that you'll need to reword a few things. But look at this. Strawberries are delicious, juicy fruit that everyone loves. There's something about the taste of strawberries in the summertime that just screams fresh. And this is pretty cool. So we can use this one. Then what we can do, we've got a couple of options from here, but we can open our editor. And then this is going to be the starting point for our article. Now I'm actually going to copy the title, just copy this. And then up here we've got SEO mode or power mode. So if I was to click on power mode and then come down here to blog post outline, I can then paste that in here. Tone of voice again, I will change to educational. And then I'm going to hit generate AI content. And what it's going to do is going to give us some starting points to then expand on our blog post. So we've already got the um, starting paragraph. So now you can see here we've got these six points. So I'm going to copy this to the clipboard. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to paste them in here. So strawberry plants are easy to grow in containers. So I'm going to delete this number one and I'm going to put double hashtag space because that's how this software works. So it's now this is going to act, <clears throat> excuse me, pretty much like a subheading or an H2 tag or an H3 tag. So I'm going to click here. Strawberry plants are easy to grow in containers. 
the first thing and you just start writing to give it a little bit of a prompt and then you can hit compose but I'm going to um, choose medium you can small medium or longer in length so we'll leave medium and we'll hit compose and it's going to go out and it's going to basically write it for us look at this it's right in the blog post for us first dig out an area using twice as large as the container you're using once that is done comma compose I'm not even writing the article. This is so easy. And you can basically have this go on as much as you want. Okay, strawberry plant is at least six hours of sunlight. So we recommend that you compose. And you can see how easy this is. And if you find there's a sentence or two that doesn't match or doesn't fit or you don't agree with, you just delete it. I mean, at the end of the day, it's still a software. It's not 100% perfect 100% of the time, but it's pretty good. So we could leave that there. And then what I could do is I could open up a Google tab again. So let me go ahead and do this again. New tab. And I'd do the same thing I did before. So I could put, for example, growing organic strawberries and we'll come down here and again we'll just open and close open and close open and close so if we wanted to create um, an extra bit of content we could choose this are eggshells good for strawberries so I could come here are eggshells good for strawberries come here um, I could put this anywhere I wanted to because at the end of the day once it's done I've got to then copy this and put it into my my blog but I can put this are egg sales good for strawberries this is something you might have wondered compose and let's see let's bring this up Okay, eggshells are not good for strawberries. They provide calcium, but the strawberry plant needs phosphorus to produce its fruit and leaf. Now, on a personal level, I don't actually know if that's true or not. But of course, if this were going to be a real blog post, I would have a blog or a website revolving around organic produce, maybe even revolving around fruit, and I'd know this stuff. So if you're saying this, isn't, this is true or this isn't true, I don't know. But you'd know the content that you were creating this for. Let's see what the actual thing says here. Okay, strawberry plants will grow well with the addition of natural potassium. So again, you make the call as to whether this is accurate or not, but you can see how simple this is. Let's um, go to a completely different one here. Let's go to a Google My Business. Let's click on this. I've not used this one before. Tell us about your uh, business update. Okay, so we now offer carpet cleaning in the London spell correctly London area okay Adams carpet cleaning and let's just hit generate AI content so again if you've got a GMB profile you've got a local business and you want to have a little bit of an update for something new that you've got but you know you're not really sure how to word it okay there you go. Look at this business announcement. You just copy this and then you just, of course, change the phone number. It would have your real company in here. Um, let's come down here. You could change the website address. But what I could do, let me just click on that. Let me delete that and delete that bit. That's a bit odd. Um, again, I'd use a real phone number. I'll double check it and then I could copy and paste this onto my Google My Business profile if I've got an update. Now on a personal level, the templates that I mainly use, the content improver, the long form editor, those are the two things that I use mainly. I played around with the YouTube video description and I've also played around with storytelling and email marketing a little bit as well. And in fact, let me just show you a few more templates. So let's just go back. I want to show you some other templates that are really, really cool. 
So if we come down here, you've got the blog post stuff. You can use this to create stories, Cre explain it to a child. You know, when you're writing blog post content, they often have a difficulty index of the kind of stuff that you're crafting, and that can have an impact on you know how user friendly your website is. So you may want to make it easy to understand for all concerned. We've got Sentence Expander, Facebook Ads, Google Ads, GMB, Amazon. I, I don't do Amazon, but you've got Amazon stuff, product descriptions, bullets, marketing angles, a bunch of stuff for YouTube, SEO stuff as well. They integrate directly with Surfer SEO. I've got a video on Surfer SEO if you want to see that. And a ton of other things that I've not even tried. There's so much. Look, Cora Answers, um, Text Summarizer. Really, really cool. I've got a, I've actually got my own Cora software, which goes out and it finds questions that can be answered on Cora. So I may even you know play around with this. This could be really, really powerful. Anyway, conversion.ai is fantastic. It's really, really cool. If you want to learn more about the pricing structure and other stuff, click on the link below. There is a blog post that I've got in the description. That blog post, I'd say about 70% of it was written with this software. The other stuff I needed to add because I needed to add my own voice, a bit more personalization. But it's a great software. Check it out below. And if you do want to grab it, then there is actually a really cool bonus on my link. But I'll let you check that out in your own time. Any questions, let me know. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, and I'll see you in another video shortly. Take care. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions or you need more clarification, go and watch the video once more. Over on the right hand side, we have some more trainings and reviews, so go and watch those as well. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already, and hit the bell notification. Other than that, ask any questions you've got below, and I'll see you soon.